Hello everyone, welcome to Eagle Eye Opener. I am Hosanna David. Nigeria has just confirmed the first case of coronavirus in Lagos. An Italian man who works in Nigeria was tested yesterday, 27th of February, 2020, and confirmed to have been um, infected with the virus, coronavirus. Now, I am saying this because there is need for us to be careful. I shared a video on Ego Ayopuna about the revelation the Lord gave to me about coronavirus and World War III. If you've not watched it, please, you can just watch it. The world is actually going the lane that nobody wants it to go. But we have our own role to play as far as this the outbreak of this virus is concerned. We have our own role to play. There are different kind of information out there about how to cure coronavirus. A lot of people are not even verifying some of these things. Someone is saying that people should be taking garlic one spoon uh, in the morning, in the afternoon, and in the evening. Uh, Please, I just want to say that please confirm uh, any information, verify it before you start medication. Don't take uh, unprescribed medication. If uh, your doctor has not confirmed it, please don't take just anything. Because when news like this come out, uh, when there is outbreak of disease, a lot of people actually die from self-medication and also from the trauma of all oh, have been infested by the virus there is no more hope again and some will go about spreading this disease please if you notice any form of feverish uh, signs you are coughing uh, if you notice any of the signs please do not take self-medication go to the uh, nearby facility and please be careful so that you we don't spread this thing everywhere if you notice anything, even with someone that is sick and you notice any of these symptoms, please be very, very careful. Don't just come in contact with sick people anyhow. And we really need to be prayerful as Christians. Let us pray and let us also educate uh, everyone around us so that they will know how to take care of themselves. I just want to read this. It is from cncdc.gov. Meds.ng. It is uh, one of the things that we need to do as uh, people who are living in this uh, dangerous time that coronavirus is ravaging nations. One of the things we need to do some precautions, regular and thorough wash, washing of our hands with soap and with water, and also. Uh, use alcohol based hand sanitizer then two maintain at least one and a half meters that is five feet distance between yourself and anyone who is coughing or sneezing so if you are in a bus please always let the windows be open in a public transport and when people are coughing please stay away stay far away maintain some distance because we need to actually curb the spread of this virus then persons with persistent cough or sneezing should stay home or keep a social distance but not miss in crowd if you know you are coughing or you sneezing please stay away from crowd so that we uh, this thing does not spread then make sure you and people around you follow good respiratory hygiene meaning cover your mouth and nose with a tissue or into your sleeve at the bent elbow or tissue when you cough or sneeze then dispose the used tissue immediately when you are sneezing please cover your mouth and make sure you sneeze with carefulness so that you don't sneeze into the atmosphere into the air to pollute the air you may not know whether you are infected already and please stay away from people who are sneezing unnecessarily uh, any form of sneezing at all please be careful stay at home if you feel unwell with symptoms like fever cough difficulty in breathing and also uh, please report at the 
uh, nearest uh, health center, then stay informed at least uh, on the latest development about COVID-19 uh, coronavirus. Please, you have to make sure you get the right source of information and get the right information from there. Uh, connect yourself to this right source of information and get the right information. Don't just start self-medication and some of these herbal treatments. Please be careful. Coronavirus is not a death center. So don't be tested positive or don't suspect it and tell yourself that I don't want to die alone and start spreading it. Let us learn from uh, what actually happened during the Ebola outbreak and Lassa fever outbreak we were able to overcome because we actually cooperated then for those of us those people who are in government please this is not a time to play politics don't play politics with the lives of people this is about the world this is about nigeria this is about africa this is about humanity and if any money is released to curb this the spread of the virus please make sure you make judicious use of it this is not Boko around that people are playing politics with you feel that you have soldiers around you now let me tell you if you have soldiers and security men around you and you fly airplanes you don't pass through the road because there are uh, killer uh, killers there uh, kidnappers and different kind of evil taking place there if you feel that you have you are in government you have security going with you the security won't prevent the coronavirus from assessing you definitely it will get to you so please don't even think of playing politics with this with this curb cabin of coronavirus then also for those of us who are in a leadership position especially in the church i think it is high time we come out with some preventive measures like the Christian Association of Nigeria and other places where this thing is spreading. Let us also try and educate our people because it is gathering. We know the power of God is present whenever the children of God are gathered, but there is still need for us to be careful. The Bible says that we should, be, we should live as wise and not as wise, and that we should also make the best use of every opportunity. Uh, something is actually happening now and we need to be careful there's need to take some level of precautions thank you for watching god bless you i promise that as the lord helps us we will continue to update you and also on the way to move forward please don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to pray let us also know that the lord jesus christ is coming soon and Many of these things are things that the Lord has already told us that are going to happen. So in case you have not given your life to Christ, please do well to give your life to Christ because the world is passing away. As we can see, everything is passing away. The coronavirus is destroying both the rich and the poor, young and old, uh, learned, unlearned, illiterate, literate, different kind of people, even those government and those who are delayed. Let us be careful and surrender to the totality of our lives to Jesus Christ. For after this world, there is eternal life. If this world is ravaged by viruses, that world will never be tampered with by sickness or any form of virus. Thank you for watching. God bless you.